spirit of death, depart. Amen. Be gone. In Jesus' name, be gone. What is it? Huh? Blood. Spirit of death, depart. Now. Be gone. In Jesus' name. We have somebody clean him up. Clean him up. Stand up. Stand up. Get him up. Sit him down. Sit him down. Sit him down. Clean him up. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You don't belong to the dead. <laughs> Life. Look at me. 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 Look at me, look at me. <sighs> Life. Amen. Return back to the land of the living. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Put him on the floor to just rest. Relax. Relax. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just died. That's death. It's not. It is an evil. Take him to go and lie down in the hospital. That place to, to, to just rest. He's 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 alive. Let him stand. Let him stand. Take him. Just help him. He's fine. Look at him. Go. Look at him. He's, he's back. Shout hallelujah. Let him go and rest. How can somebody die in my presence? Hi guys, my name is Mark Lutualo. It's my first time today at the service. Um, yeah, before the service I was feeling great. I had a prayer and then I fainted. I'm still feeling a bit weak. I'm just trying to recover. Speed of death, depart. I felt much better after the man of God prayed for me. So I was on medicine. I was on depression medicine for like um, uh, not even like two weeks now. 
Uh, perfect day. My, my name is Brother Muhammad, and uh, I was the, the one who was inviting um, my friend uh, Mark. I make I know Mark for for about almost almost a month now, and uh, Mark is uh, the condition of Mark. Uh, from my experience, is 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 it's not long ago since he's been sick, and uh, he was complaining about a head problem, his headaches. That his head is paining and, 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 and dizziness. See, he went to the hospital. He's under um, Somerset, so they, 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 there was a lot of confusion. They, could, they couldn't say what is actually the problem. Then they say it as um, it is a depression. Then they say it is it's something else, but they couldn't find what is the problem. But I, I suggest that it, it might be a spiritual problem because um, he's very quiet. He's, 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 his accent shows that he's, he's not by himself, and so. Um, I brought him to the church and uh, while I was in church, he was collecting, vomiting blood and uh, the man of God, Pastor John, prayed for him and uh, he has recovered much better. He's looking better, he's, 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 he's recovering much better. Yeah, and I thank the Lord for his life. Yeah. And uh, I believe if, if I did not bring him here this morning, maybe he would have passed away there, there where he stayed. So I believe this is a divine appointment why I bring him here this morning. And I want to thank the Lord for his life. I want to thank the Lord for his recovering. And I want to thank the man of God for Pastor John Anusike. I want to thank him for the bottom of my heart for, for restoring the life of, of, of Mark, my friend. My name is Nora Rains. I'm also a critical care nurse. On Sunday the 5th of, of May 2022, one of our congregants collapsed. When Pastor John Anusike noticed the commotion when everybody was running away um, he attended to the congregant which was found to be dead blood was gushing out of his mouth blood was gushing out of his nostrils pastor john anasika prayed for him after which he was revived he was taken to the sick bay i did all the observations evaluated all the systems hemodynamically everything was in within the normal range initially it was a bit disorientated to time and place but as time went on he knew exactly where he was he knew exactly which day it was um, after asking me several questions repetitively he could actually tell me that he was admitted to somerset hospital with depression and being on an antidepressant which would be causing him to have palpitations at night. In the interim, I phoned the provincial ambulance which arrived. Um, all the vital signs were reported and he was found to be absolutely stable. There was no br breakdown in any systems of his body. His blood pressure was 118 over 54 with a heart rate of 92, temperature 36, 1, he had a Glasgow Coma scale of 15 out of 15, which indicates that all systems were functioning, functioning optimally. Um, the ambulance repeated all the observations, find all of them normal, and then at about 12.10, he was taken to Somerset Hospital. I want to specially invite every one of you to please join me on our YouTube account, um, Facebook account, Instagram account, and every possible social media. We're there. Pastor John Anosike. Hallelujah. Please join me. You will be blessed this year. So much revelations, so much visions, so much word, so much healing and miracles and manifestations and ascension into the realms of God shall be your witness this year. Guess, guess what? God is about to do amazing things this year. So join me on all of our social platforms. 
and you will be blessed especially youtube facebook instagram and tiktok and every other ones and god bless you join us for worship every sunday first service 7 a.m second service 10 a.m to 12 30 p.m school of revelation our bible study at 6 p.m a time of in-depth study of god's word it's time to come to the knowledge of truth and grow in revelation with the bond servant of christ john and osike healing nights with jesus every tuesday at 6 p.m to 8 30 p.m an atmosphere of miracles where the man of god takes time to minister to different cases christ remains the solution to every problem of man venue 416 Bortrecker road maitland cape town south africa telephone plus 2721 510 WhatsApp plus 2763 423 5895.